Right, 27th of November. Alex had a baptism of fire yesterday, raking out this. Wasn't fun. Black mortar. Everything was covered in black, obviously, including us. Looked like a pair of coal miners. Got up to the 32 courses off the ladder. We're getting a proper scaffold up next week. But uh, for today, I'm going around the back. I'm doing the back section there, across, the, across that extension. And this is Alex's little project for today. He's going to take the arch out, all the brickwork out, tooth it, and then rebuild it. We can't get a perfect match on the bricks, but we can get them. So they're close-ish. Obviously not going to get a perfect match on them, but they'll look better than that when it's done. And then the couple have come out of there. So we've got all our gear ready. Got our bricklayer ready. So we're just going to set a little scaffold up. And then um, this one's going to be Alex's video today because I'm going to be around the corner, so I'll leave you to it. Right, I'm filming today. Right, okay, just there. Uh, yeah, looking a bit tired that blade now. It's down to like six mil segments. I'm ready for a new one. Let's see, it's still Christmas. Are you high enough, Al, or do you want the, uh, do you want the platform? Careful, you're going to cut into that brick. Right. Get the blade straight. Start again here. Start here. Start there. That's it. Now work back. See, that's it. down your halves now. What I'm saying is don't worry about overrunning into the arch brick. Right. Otherwise just your cut will be too shallow. <clears throat> it goggles them but they fog up quick because there's no ventilation on them. Let it go into the into the soldier brick as well, so you go deep enough. Right. 
and they're just here, so I'm going to put those in. Let's see if I can time lapse now. When you're popping the bricks out, mate, just go just go flat under the bed, just pop it up. Okay. Right, start taking your halves out now. So it's right in the middle of it and it shouldn't wobble, it should come out on its own. Going from there, mate. Now you're on this, all the dust is gone. Put your glasses back on. Oh, yeah, I did. I had to take it off for there because there was two, there was a piece of brick behind it as well. And it was just blowing all the insulation in my eyes. All right. Do you want your glasses? I've got them. This is Alex's first go on this, I usually do all this. I've done something like this before. Hey? I've done something like this before. Have you? Not a full window though, have you? Not a window, but a wall, remember? It's your own, yeah, it's your own little project this now. It's gonna have a piece up in the middle of it, because there's a piece up in the middle of the house, as you can see there. You thought it'd be nice to torture me? Hey? You thought it'd be nice to torture me? Yeah. <laughs> Now what, what, <clears throat> what I always do on the toothing is you start from the top and work your way down because if you start at the bottom, you take the bottom toother out as you're working above it there's a chance the pressure can snap it there's less chance of snapping the one above than there's the one below so you always take your toothers out from the top down Don't knock the one above. What? Don't knock the one above. Al, the one, the big, the full brick's coming out as well. So smack the hell out there as well. This the full brick underneath. That's coming out too. Oh. <clears throat> That's it. Smack your full brick as well. Bricks with clay common, please. <coughs> yeah, a piece should pop out now. Look, keep using your hammer. I want to try and get this.
well. See the cavities. Turn. What? Your returns in the cavity need to come out as well. Yeah, these. Sure, so the cavity's continuous. And there we go. What time is it now? About quarter past eleven. Quarter to twelve. Quarter to twelve. <laughs> Bloody hell! So nearly lunchtime, but it's finally out. Oh, bloody pain in the ass because of these um, returns on the cavity. As you, they were half of them are bloody bonded in, so we had to get at them with a the brick hammer. Very tough bricks as well. Yeah, very tough bricks. As you can see in the video, the bloody breaker had a hard time getting through them. But, um, and because of them return bricks as well, there's, there was no insulation in here. As you could tell in the crap, there's hardly anything. And there's like a patch there, and then if you look down there, you can see nothing. That's all that's for. We've got two sheets, which should be enough. I should hope it's enough to get that in. So we're, we're just gonna get the bricks now, aren't we? Yep. Go get the bricks and uh, that's when I get started. I'm re replacing these as well. There were some bricks just put in crappily, so they're getting fixed. All right, I'll see you in the next bit. Right, ten, ten of them are all good. Good. Why does someone not like it? So, so, so someone's got the very least. Alright. Oh well. Oh dear. Right, that's JM sorted. That's a 20 year old kickboxer. Alright, I'll mess with him then. <laughs> that's JM sorted. Our yeah. lintels. That's our lintels order for tomorrow. What? Garage oh, conversion tomorrow. I thought you were talking to me. Never mind. Garage conversion tomorrow. So. They're getting them cut for us now while we need to fill to get our sand and cement for today and tomorrow. 
So if you watched the last but one video, you recognise this journey because we did it in the opposite direction. There's huge grave that we avoid like the plague because it's too expensive. Hodgson's, we need to pop in there on the way back because it's, it's Friday so they're open. Get there on the way back. You better hope Hugh's great, don't message you asking for a sponsorship. I know. Yeah. You might look back on your video. Look, this used to, used to go round here, now you have to turn in. They're building a brand new road. Mm. It's not being built over there on its own. It'll probably be a substation for the electricity. Ah, okay. Or gas. Until mum, when she could when we get home, we need to watch Mandalorian by the way. Must be a good bunch of that now. Look how busy it is. Looks it's like a we, fairground ride. I was gonna say that. Yeah, I think I think you need to watch Mandalorian straight away. Why? People say it's like one of the best Star Wars things that have yeah. been out. Just one episode. Who's directing this one? Dave Filoni, the one who made Ahsoka. Right. And here we are again, back at Fairwoods. What are we getting from here, sand? Bricks. Weird oh, bricks. Yeah. Did you got them? Might have to end up going to Hughes Grey. Might have to go to Hughes Grey. Yeah. Uh, you're too expensive. There's only three bags of building sand there. I'll have to tell them. How much do we need? Got all the points into it, haven't we? We've got a garage conversion suit, so we need it at least while we're here today. Seven is it not just worth getting a ton bag. No, it's getting where'd you put it, mm. moving it, and not what have you. We could just get them three for now. No, that's not. We need more for tomorrow. Is that the building sand there at the end? No, it's on its own. But it could be no plastering sand, is it? Yeah, how can you tell? It says on it plaster. Six out. No bricks. No bricks. So back to Hughes Grey. Saw all pride. Yeah. Maybe edit that bit out. Yeah. So, points down there, you see there's next to nothing in this bloody yard. Spoils it. I'm trying to try and get some stock in. Oh, I'm trying to get this on. Perfect. Have a good with this guy. Oh. That's a forklift. Should he be doing that on the road? If it drops that. What's in there? Could be empty, could be full of. I don't know. Government. Speaking last night, Boris Johnson for long. It's weird stopping at a junction now. I wonder if that's going to come out on the main road. I think that's probably going to link up with that road, Red Rover State. Yeah. Yeah.
new guard for the broken grinder. Last time I wanted to come here was to get a two foot level. Side or back? Back please mate. Oh no, I don't know. First that's 65. Slight hiccup that turned into um, almost a disaster. We were, went to go get the bricks. Couldn't find them. So we bit the bullet and Hughes Gray. Didn't have them. Discontinued. Discontinued bricks. So, uh, no wonder we. so we spent a bit of time looking for uh, anywhere that would do them until we, found out, until we found out they're discontinued and we've just got some identical ones. Just found them in the corner of the yard, just tucked away out the way. So we've uh, dodged a bullet there, we've spent a lot of time looking but at yeah. least we've, uh, we've got something. So now finally, back to the job. update at what time is it on about three o'clock about three o'clock so we've not got much light left i need to get up there and give them a hand but i'm just finishing clearly finishing that bit of grinding and getting the dust tidied up because we're not here over the weekend so we need to get it a bit tidy alex is doing well with it the bricks are like 70 mil just just a bit smaller than the house but once once it's all pointed together it'll it all blend in nice oh. and obviously took a window out and you end up with the feet and like that which is nothing we can do about we just got to roll with it it still looks better than it did yeah. so I'm going to get up there and I'm actually going to carry on on that time lapse This is the pointing job I've been doing for the last 12 days. All finished now. Well done. 53 square metres. 
it's tidy up time today that's where the window was that's been on our Instagram with the arch the window wasn't too near the set and a few other bricks to patch up so that's all done so what I'm doing at the moment is where they're sealing it with the very porous bricks and the porous mortar to be four to one I'm just giving it a, a quick dose with the uh, this stuff so it just goes goes in that sprayer just spray it on so it's straight in just gives the air brickwork that bit of protection because it's such a takes such a lot of weather a great scaffold that and then once I've finished that bit it's a good clean up I've got the jet wash on me this is the pattern concrete so get this back to how we found it give everything a good clean priorities Yeah, done the back as well, repointed. I've just resealed it now <coughs> and um, replaced three tiles that are broke, but still another two broke. But we can't get all of the tiles till after Christmas. So I'll just take you up. down on the first lift got down as this lift last night uh, yeah you can see that's been done so the water's like a little wax car Go down to do. I'll just take it up and show you. Oh, scaffold. That's an old job from about seven years ago, probably longer. Chimneys. Anyone who knows Home Skirt could recognise the church, the water tower. That's where I used to live, up there. And then um, my mate Andy's coming to sort the roof out. That needs replacing. A couple of tiles need replacing. And he's redoing the uh, fascia board. They put, um, I think he said they put 20 mil stuff on which is too thick, so it's lost the overhang. So this is all getting replaced. I'm not sure if the timber's coming off, but obviously, ideally, the timber will come off. So that's all getting done while the scaffold's up. And there's our brickwork. The actual pikes are solid, solid nine inch, as you can tell by the headers, English garden water bond. So this is all treated now, down to that window. So I'm going to go down now and get, get the rest done and start, start cleaning it up before this heavy rain comes. Cracking scaffold this, made up with it. You couldn't get any um, the uh, rake stabiliser bars in, don't know what they're called. So there's a couple of I'll show you, I've never seen these before. He's anchored it with them. 
you screw two of those eyes in, one at each end, and that's anchored the whole scaffold. It's a solid job. There, yeah, I can see it beading on the bit where it's been rained on overnight. So that's all nice and sealed up now. And uh, the big joints. Rough old bricks, so I got the old teaspoon out again, but it's got a lovely finish put on it. It's great. I think the joints would have gone in a bit too deep, and um, my weather struck pointing is not pretty, so I think that's come up really nice. That. Now I've given the jams a bit extra because on these old houses the brickwork returns around the windows there's no damp course so it's solid there's no, there's no way to stop the damp penetrating the windows that's just an extra bit of belt and braces let's go down and get the bottom lift on now for a refill.
There we go. Away you go. Right, 16th of January, we're back. Here's one of the chimneys, old job. So there's the back was repointed. Didn't get that on the other video. And I've just been up and replaced the two broken tiles. I'll show you. There we go. One there. One there. I actually replaced the one above that, or the one below, I can't remember. I replaced it, and as I dropped the tile above down, it snapped. Oh yeah, that's the one, I replaced that one. And as I dropped that back, it snapped. So then I ran out of tiles then, and then broke this one on the way down. So I got six, one broke in the van, so there's still three spare left for the customer, should anything else happen. There's the back of the pointing. Drop the chimney. It's all the scaff gone. Okay, we'll end. Hi, mate, Andy, the roofer came back just after Christmas. Did all the uh, 
based on crappy fisher and fisher in Suffolk. And he's actually gone over the purlins, sealed them in. So it's all nicely sealed up now. And he's also sealed between the tiles and the fascia board. And then just move out the headers and the pike and just go on the other end. That's a solid wall there. And then the rest of it. Let's just smoke out where it hasn't dried where the water seals where it beads. That's so working well. And then we've got next to the downspout where the window window was. Alex's little project. Which I think looks smart. I'll put in um, I'll put the window in next to it as a comparison. So that's it. 53 square meters altogether. And that, that job saw us through Christmas. Really enjoyed that. And now I've got to go across the road and price up the house across the road. But they don't have a pike, it's a hip roof, so it's less the pike. So that's it. He's a dictator. Could you finish that with Tater then? What? Could you finish that with Tater? Oh. <laughs> I thought you were talking about potatoes. Let me do this. Take bully five.